on a remote island in British Columbia. A gold mine 50 miles from the nearest inspector knowingly dumped toxic waste into the environment. Honorable Speaker, in March and June of 2015, Banks Island Gold did not report that it had two separate tailing spills and numerous serious health and safety infractions. A whistleblower alerted the government. That mine was closed, it was closed, and it's still closed, and it will never reopen unless they can show that they will operate in a way uh, that protects the natural environment. Uh, I'm Ben Mossman, I'm a mine engineer. I've worked at eight underground producing mines. Thousands of miles away, the same mine managers that filed bankruptcy to avoid cleaning up their last mess we own all the original land holdings of the Idaho Maryland mine is exploiting a loophole to fly under the radar. You're not dealing with the state of California. When it comes to dewatering or putting the mine back into production, you need use permit from the county, but the county is a lead agency. There's still a mess with that mine. That hasn't been cleaned up. Now he's going to do that in your backyard? This time endangering thousands of homeowners living above the shafts that lead to the gold. Your children and sons and daughters are going to work at that mine. You better make sure that every day before they go to work, you give them a big hug and kiss. It might be the last time you see them.